difference between Utsunomiya and Manila? You know, uh, we watch every tournament like this is the most important thing for us in that moment. And we come here, we know that we have a great chance and just we are preparing for that. You Maestro, um, you said the field was different, but how about the, the environment, the crowd, everything? Yeah, here is amazing. I, honestly, I just expected uh, more people yeah. because I played here uh, seven years ago, 2015. Yeah. In other mall, it was much more people and it was amazing. We played final against Philippines. It was crazy crowd. The, today was was very good and we are happy, very happy that we are playing here. Nice questions. Uh, you play, you trained and played with the Filipino players. What can you say about this latest batch of three extreme players? What Actually, do they need to improve on? Cebu team are very good. We play, we play with them and it was a tight result. We beat them once, they beat us once. The, the ta Talio, Talio is amazing offensive player and he scored against us five twos. They are very good. I think they have a space to be better every day if they keep uh, working hard they can be a good team on the world tour. Yes, Reino, your thoughts on the Philippine team, uh, Manila and Cebu? You know, I think Samedi asked me before that question. Uh, they are so talented and they play good basket, but they are not focused only on that. They play 5 on 5 and it's totally different. Uh, when I talk with Talo, he say maybe one day he will focus only on 3x3 and I think they will be great team. What do you think um, is the reason why 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 they can't focus too much on 3x3 players? On 3x3, the game, 3x3 the game. You know, but it's their choice. We all play 5 on 5 basketball for many years, and one day when we talk, we have two choices: to stay on 5 on 5, play professionally 5 on 5, or go totally on 3x3. And it's same with them. They have two ways. You can play the same time 5 on 5 and 3x3, but it's not so much easy. It's totally different game. Uh, what can you, uh, what can you have development of the three X three here in the Philippines? What can you say? Uh, I, I don't hear. Um, about our play, our players here in the Philippines about three X three. What can you say? The you potential. Know, you know, I say before second. They are great players. Talo is perfect. That American is perfect man, uh, player. But they need to be focused on that. We are practicing all year just three X three, and they more play five on five than three X three. And that's the only reason why they can play with. Best teams in the world. Guys, for the record, how many competitions do you guys play in a year? How many games? How many tournaments? If it's normal year, we expect between 20 and 25. If oh. it's normal year, if not, then. It's not COVID. Pre COVID? No, no, without. Was, without. Okay, no, COVID. 2020 was a problem because of COVID. We play only four or five tournaments. But this year we expect in the normal year, so we expect in between 20 and 25 tournaments. How do you cope up with the travel? What? How do you cope up with the traveling? How we you know, feeling on the travel? What? You know, when you when you start to play these sports after six or seven months, you know, to, you have a long trip and you need to be prepared for that. It's a big thing in this sport and you need to have time to rest. And because of that, we try to always go two or three days before the tournament to do it. Aside from the international trip, how many domestic competitions you have? 3x3 domestic? In Serbia? Yeah. We have about 35. Every weekend. Two or one tournament, but we don't play the tournaments. We don't play that. We, we maybe play one or two in Serbia. Everything else all around the world. But you guys started off with that, playing in the domestic league. You guys started playing in the domestic league before, when you were younger. Yes, I start to play 2000. I start to play 2014. Everything. This sport, and we play first of all in Serbia, then we used to win some tournaments in Serbia to go to Europe. Then it was hard work, hard work. Can I ask about the Serbia 3x3 Academy? Does it help your team, or does it really produces more players than you? You know, 3x3 Academy is first. A big academy for 3x3 sports in the world, and I think he can say more words about that. About what? 3x3 academy. 3x3 academy. Academy, ah. Uh, we organize a lot of a lot of training camps in Serbia, and I think we make a deal with uh, Philippine Federation to come to 
come to Serbia and to learn some something new and to make a lot of, a lot of experience about about Trixie because they have a pot, 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 potential potential about Trixie and I think that, that, yeah we can help them and they in a good way to, to do that. I saw when you played here in 2015, 3x3 still starting, you said you wanted to be in the Olympics, you played in the Olympics, you're still playing now, and this is has grown. How do you feel as a player that you know many dreams have come true because of 3x3? Yes, a lot of dreams come true through this sport, but time still not done. I want to play in the Olympics 2024 in Paris. So I have a lot of motivation. This is my new team. I started to play with them last year. We are better and better every tournament, and I'm happy that I'm here, that I share the court with them every day. And uh, I just want to stay focused. I just want to win more and more tournaments, and I hope I'm, I'm going to be able to play for next one. You really want to go? And I really want to go. <laughs> <laughs> you were even what do you think is the key in continuous success in the You know, the key for sure because we are really focused on that sport and this summer job, and that's it. We just leave this 3x3, and all day you think about 3x3 family and 3x3 this summer job. And we practice two times per day, like last four or five years, and we are just in good shape. So, guys, you mentioned earlier that you are. You're, you're participating of 25 international events per year. That's essentially one event every week. So how do you prepare in within that week window? Are we preparing for uh, when we finish the season in December? We take a little bit rest and then we have two months very difficult practice or three three months. And after that, you don't have so much time for practice. You know, you just. Uh, you just keep your condition for all the lead, for all, all the year and sometimes it's very difficult but you are professional you must be focused on that. For him it was very difficult in the final. He didn't practice for one month and his leg was very weak in the final. <laughs> uh, on, on a personal note, uh, since you do a lot of traveling, you do a lot of traveling all over the world and you're away from home for uh, a lot of time during the year. How much do you miss your family, your loved ones, your friends, and how, is this, how does this serve as a motivation for you? You know, for me and him, family is big support for us, and for sure we miss them too much. And we just wait after, this is long time, we stay in Manila 15 days, and before that, that we was in Japan, and we don't see our kids 25 or 30 days, and you know, we miss them, but this is our job, and that's normal. We don't miss too much our wives, but kids, <laughs> <laughs> but kids we miss a lot. Yeah. Okay. But kids really missing a lot. Yeah, this is a long time without them, so it's very difficult sometimes. But this is our job. We need to do. Yes, for the kids. So can we? Can we go? Yeah. Huh? Thank, Thank you so much. Thank you guys.